these aren't Daleks. They don't look screen accurate at all. Okay, end the video. Show's over. People who grew up as fans of Doctor Who during the 1960s will know about Dalek Mania. The Daleks were one of the biggest icons of the 1960s and for good reason. They were actually a threat for one thing. But seriously though, these buggers were everywhere. So it was inevitable that the powers at the BBC would cash in on the bug-eyed monsters. There were board games like Dodge the Daleks, the Dalek Oracle, the Dalek Shooter game, all of which are dated by today's standards. People love playing these video games these days like Fortnite. Oh look, Daleks even turned up in that at one point. What a twist. Back then though, these board games must have been a godsend for the children. Not sure what parents thought of these though. I'd love to hear if anyone still has these. Dalek Oracle fetches for around 350 quid on the second hand market these days. I've got money. There was even Dalek's Great Escape. Apparently, this was hard to play back in 1966. There was no card games for Doctor Who back in the 1960s, so sorry to all of those who wanted to see the women in the woods training cards or Count Dracula. You were unlucky. One item which is considered as the holy grail of Doctor Who items is the Dalek costume from 1964, released just in time for the first ever broadcast of the Daleks' invasion of Earth. If you got this, you was the coolest. I envy you. I do wonder if anyone still has one of those. Now for those of you who have been long time viewers of my channel, then I could not sign off without talking about the action figures from this era. As seen in my joke at the beginning, Louis Marx produced the Dalek toys to capitalise on the Dalek craze of the 60s. It was battery operated and you could pretend that you were exterminating anyone who stood in its way and it was radio controlled. It even had lights. While the shape of it is not screen accurate, you know what it is and for a 1960s toy this would have been awesome to have. Perhaps one day I might invest in one of these. After all, they technically did appear as props in stories like The Power of the Daleks. The merch I have shown are just some classic examples of how big Dalek Mania really was. Remember, UK TV audiences only had three TV channels. There was no internet, no Doctor Who magazine of any kind, no Twitter, no social media. These rare treats, along with Doctor Who itself, were the best ways to be a part of the Dalek mania of the 60s. These days, there is a countless amount of Dalek merch, some of which I have covered, but alas, some I have not. So when Daypole made glitter Daleks, money.